On this episode of Savings or Current, we are at the scenic Lecky Conservation Centre with a few friends to have an honest discussion about a finance-related topic. Joining us in conversation, we have the funny guy, Bolly Lomo, the experienced, Fadi Okunwo, the businessman, Chucky Wapa, and the witty noisemaker, FK Abudi. Let's see what they have to say about today's topic. No problem. So, today, guys, it's all about living beyond your means. Guilty, 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 <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I think, I, think, I, think, I, think I think guys are worse than girls. I think guys are worse than girls. No, I think living yeah. beyond means is only people that live on the island. No, okay. People no. on the island are very comfortable with their life. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Even everybody is still trying to... Is trying to no, no, the thing yeah. is that we, we know that when we get home, we are going to need generator. <laughs> but, but island, okay, but another island, your neighbor island. has Boyabi solar panel. The other one has the inverter. The other one has a boot. Exactly. So you are thinking you don't want to be so in mainland. All of us are using. You can't just have a car. All of us are using generators. Okay, but the problem is, I keep seeing people moving from the mainland to the island. They don't have the means. No, they are no. They are still aspiring. They are heading over. Well, God has done it for them. They live in lucky phase. Maybe like. Hit us with your infinite wisdom. Tell us, guys, how do you live beyond your means? Living beyond your means is generally is when you know you can't afford something, but just because you don't want to seem like you're broke. I think especially with the lifestyle of social media, doing yeah. things with the gram, you know, I might be just driving past the airport and I'll see a private jet, but I'll quickly just, just go and take a picture gram. like I said, I own it, no? To be honest, I don't think that's, that's living beyond your means. I think that's just, that's yeah. different. Living beyond your means is basically um, knowing that you are an Indomie and boy like person, <laughs> but you're trying to eat yeah. buffet, or you are eating buffet. <laughs> So you know that what you should be eating is boiled egg to egg. Yeah, I agree, yes, all these things we're saying. But you know that in the culture that we are in, sometimes living beyond your means can get you stuff. I mean, do you want to do business with someone that comes in and let's say someone has a good idea. In Nigeria, in, in Africa generally, having a good idea doesn't always work. If I see you and you're looking a certain way, Already you're, more likely to to get, you're more likely to get business, yeah. Yeah, we're very sure. yeah but, that, but that's sure. what I'm saying, that it's the, the root of the problem. I mean, that's where you go wash. Yeah, yeah, everybody makes judgments on, on the yeah. package of things, of but things. the problem so comes where most the package, of the package without the that we substance. have now is empty. Even beyond your means is when something. you've got a Chanel bag or a Birkin or whatever, and you don't even have money for credit. Like, okay. Up. We can ask you a question. What if yeah. you have a Chanel bag or a Birkin, you don't have money for credit? Where you have, you're going into a meeting where that Chanel bag can get you money to buy credit and a Chanel bag. How? It's cool. How can a Chanel bag get But the thing in, is, in I don't Nigeria, think, having, I don't think a, having the stuff is necessary. Listen, it's, it's, it's I am wearing not, a Primark not, dress that was but you three look, pounds, but you look and like, but you don't I look like, like money, honey. You don't look like you're, you don't look don't, like you're wearing, you don't exactly. look like you're wearing. Exactly, so as long as you've got the confidence. What's the brand of your bag? Exactly. <laughs> no, so it was just thing. this without the bag. Just having, I don't it. think having the bag is necessarily no. the issue. The issue is if you have like you know a thousand, you ha you have money, mm. eh? and you know that you've not bought these, no, uh -huh. you don't have food, that, but then your the eye has yes. moved to let so me buy, one. let me buy me, a bag. The reason your priorities, like your priorities. Yeah. Our culture promotes showing off your yeah. wealth, and you, you're known as a big man, and you're respected, yeah. and you've got the family name, and you earn those rights yeah. by showing your wealth. That whole, oh, you're a Lagos big girl look, because I had to learn what that was when I moved to Nigeria. I actually don't think it's attractive. I hate it. What exactly what? is a Lagos big boy and what's a Lagos big girl? Lagos big boy is someone like because me. Because I don't, okay. Someone like me. Right, you see, somebody that's driving. Because you don't really move in the circle. Yeah, you know, you know, where I live, you know, like, where I be, Banana Island. Okay. But the okay. truth is that the real Lagos the big boy are the people that live there. But the general Lagos big boy yeah. are the ones that they have nothing. How nice they to look go. Like. They look like they got it. You know, that's living beyond their means in real time. Their perfume is fantastic. You know, they manage to purchase a vehicle that the key remote is working. That <laughs> when you like this, ping, you like to just do mm -hmm. pia. The girl would just die there. Then you know their shoe, something like this. Because I like. 
Yes, that's it. All those, they have those. I just, Gucci. I'm not, I'm not the legal people. I'm still working. But you find a yeah. lot of these guys that have that. Have, have if you fall in their trap, your life is finished. That's your, it. Life. your life is finished. But then Lagos big girl. Dubai right, chilling. Boy, I'll be paying. It's private jet. Mm -hmm. Like you said, uh, Birkin without credit. Mm -hmm. Sean, the stereotypical. Beach. Stories. Bleached. Long weave, hair to there, eyelashes coming out like fans. Um, they they have like the latest Samsungs and the latest iPhones and the latest bags and the latest shoes. Do you know by example, looking at them, they don't have no, you don't know by looking at them. But for example, I know people that the car they're driving, if the mirror breaks, they can't replace it. Yeah. Do you know how I mean? I mean, the point is that no. you're always hustling for stuff, right? This kind of person that yeah, yeah, always or if you're a baby, so you're eating. always looking for. Well, what about somebody's wait, wait. Daddy. I think there's an exception so there's about your life. There's the Lagos big man and Lagos big exactly. boy. Exactly. Yeah. The Lagos big men good. are normally the parents who actually have the wealth. Yeah, yeah. have money. And then by the extension, yeah. you then mm -hmm. have the small guys. Because there are two types of Lagos big boys. That's like why I said there's some actually Lagos big actually boys that actually have this this thing. Yeah. But it might not be their own. Yeah. They might just be using daddy's car. Fair enough. And there's some people that actually have their money, so it's very hard because it's very hard to tell. You'll see guys like you come into money every. Everybody is going shopping, you know, go shopping, you're buying a scarf and a belt, and then you're calling me like, oh, can you buy food for us? I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. I saw you, you just, you just bought, you yeah, just bought LV belt, you just bought yeah, scarf, you know, the people that do it, so in my industry, artists. The loads wow, of artists that, that you would have to think, do that to, to look. Why? you would why think that, that because they're, artist, they're, they're trying to keep you're up selling your lifestyle. Yeah, they will call me, be like, oh, please, you know, can you help me just send money to my guys to so they can buy diesel? We've all definitely had those moments where we've lived beyond our means and we just think, YOLO, I bet these guys can definitely say the Bro, same. We're all planning a holiday and realistically, this holiday was like out of budget. He, yeah. he, he couldn't really cut it, but I thought to myself, I don't get it. Now I wouldn't do that because yeah. it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I think you just have to respect yourself you at certain age. Yeah, you have to be like... When you come back to Lagos from living abroad, I mean, let's say you're living abroad and your parents are sending you money every month. You get comfortable in that lifestyle. Yeah. It's a very, very thin line when you come back here. That first month, you know, your pops is not happy that. Ah, Buy a bag, you know, you've gone to school. Is it food? Is in the house? <laughs> <laughs> so you're wondering, ah, then you know, let's say you're not working, you're doing NYC. But then you already have this image as this person. Because you are really living that lifestyle. You are really getting that money yeah. from your Before. parents. But you are getting that money consistently every month. So personally, I mean, one of those times I came back, and you come back to Nigeria, I've always liked clubbing. I've always been a guy who likes to drink. And I'm going out to the club and I'm going there and I'm wondering. Ah. Are you you're not, I'm driving to the club, I'm thinking, okay, I don't even know how I'm going to do it now. But <laughs> I'm not at this club. So you get there, you buy tables, you know the money you used to buy a table. You don't know where it's coming from yeah. tomorrow, but tonight, yeah, I must drink this drink. Yeah. So things like that happen. But I think as you live and you now realize, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people don't wait to actually enter and realize who they are and yeah. what they're doing and understand to be selfish you yeah. put your own priorities first yeah. forget about impressing people yeah. impress yourself yeah. trust me when you impress yourself when you start doing that people you don't even need to impress people yeah. impressed yeah. by you and, and if other people to, can't appreciate it or they're gonna look, if they're gonna look down on you they're gonna uh. forget them <laughs> 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 you know, talking about, I, I heard what you said about trying to impress people, and I think, you know, I, I joked a lot, but that, that really just entered me, yeah. because I think that the only times I've gone out to be beyond my knees is to impress people. Because yeah. I'm very, and it's not no, people's women. No, people else going to say. Because I'm very mm -hmm. comfortable. Guys, so that's your main problem. I'm, yeah, I'm very women. comfortable. If you notice me as a person, you know that yeah, I'm kind of simple. That yeah. I wear like true. jeans and shirt, yeah. but there's some girls that want to rub your head. You lose focus. Exactly. Was the day I, I live in Ogudu on the mainline sometimes mm. in like and Ogudu that was not right. And I was that I was coming from my broad. I said, I'm gonna destroy this girl life. So I went to go and take a hotel. I've not slept there before. I've never slept there. They not said that oh all the other room is not really everybody, they only have presidential suite. Oh. That's and I, I got it, I got it, but that my Snapchat did not race because they must know that I'm there. <laughs> so and it's woman and I posted the, the whole the whole weekend. But when I got to Malaysia, I said I'm gonna delete this girl's number because me for my own self. Because you said yeah, that don't impress and impress yourself. Yeah. Me for myself, I've never really slept. But mm -hmm. I went there because there's no diesel in my there's no yeah. light. Mm -hmm. And I having to yeah. buy diesel. So I regret it. So if you are seeing me like this now, you're rubbing my head, it don't work. <laughs> we are gonna sleep on the mainland together. With no light. Because you actually no, no. learn to know about people's character yeah. and how shallow or how deep yeah. they are. And if somebody's if a girl's only gonna be with you because you spoiled her in mm -hmm. a presidential suite and then she can't 
rough it with you as well, yeah, then fair enough. obviously she's not, she doesn't have that much substance. I mean, but that's what happens, right? Yeah. Everybody is, look, the, yeah. I always say that the people I love the most in this life, and I don't know who they are, it's them, they, all these show them, give them, they are the ones really enjoying Because they are the ones life. that are the ones that were always, you know, everybody's always impress. giving them, doing yeah, something, yeah, yeah. all of these things. Go on, guys. Hit us with your infinite wisdom. How can we live within our means? So I think for me, it's about knowing yourself, knowing your self-worth, increasing your intellectual property and focusing on just being the best person that you can be. That is quite generic, but trust me, it actually is the only way you can have any sanity. Not only just Nigeria, but any... Oh, you're so rude! There's a monkey sticking his butt in our face! What's all this monkey business? It seems Rafiki and friends want to join in on the conversation. Tell us guys, how do you live beyond your means? I've been in Nigeria for seven years and there's so many instances I thought, if I had just saved 10k, even 5k a month for the last seven years, and I know that I would have put that money in like a fixed deposit or invested in like T-bills, trust me, my life would be different right now. But it's always easy to say, yeah, I'll 10k, I'll save it next month, 20k, I'll save it next month, and then next month never happens. But a practical way I'll definitely imbi I'll encourage you to imbibe is to um, just increase your saving culture that you have and just try and just pledge to yourself 5k, 10k, 15k, whatever you know you can afford, no matter what. As soon as you get paid, take that money, put it aside. I think in three to five years' time, Yes, you'll be laughing for the bank. Yo, I'm I think, out. I think, I think, I think, I think you need to chase <laughs> no, 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 coming. coming both ways. <laughs> Okay, so as I'm dropping wisdom, I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah. Um, you know, because we're out here in the, in the jungle. This is within my means. Are we? Let me tell you, this right are here we? is within my means. Um, so, yeah, so what is my advice to the youth then? My advice is um, I'm gonna leave my account details at the end of this. What, what I advise, if you don't wanna leave, live within your if you want to live within your means, send, be sending me the money. Send me an amount of money every month, then I will direct debit back to you based on what I feel should be, you know, your allocation for the month. <laughs> <laughs> is there like an interest rate? Yeah, so that will you give us some more money? Everything is a refined fine. Anybody that sends her money, you're officially crazy. My own advice would be That's actually the truth. You're like your eye, you need to just close your eyes. I, I, we all want nice things yeah. and everything, but like there's seasons. Stop. I have a friend that actually had to stop looking at social media because it's yeah, because she was getting carried away Temptation. and thinking, oh, everybody's living this life. So you if you're just gonna be thinking of, oh, what am I gonna wear tomorrow? What car am I gonna drive tomorrow? <laughs> um, you need to have assets, yeah. and to actually have assets in this economy that we're in, it is not easy. So it's easier to rent things. It's easier to just have um, the, the the cheaper. Not cheaper, but just like yeah. products that are throwaway yeah. that are not gonna last a li lifetime and they're not generational. I'm trying to focus on generational wealth, bro. I don't know about you. So you you just need to get focused. And if you want a lifestyle that you can't currently afford, listen, make money. Work. Hmm. What would you rather be, a professional or an entrepreneur? I was on radio and TV for five years and then I left that just to focus on running my company. And a lot of people were like, why did you leave radio? Why did you leave radio? Paid. You left radio? I did. It's been like two years. Wow. People still don't. Oh, yeah, I I'm that. not in front of media at all. I just run my own businesses and you know, I've moved into the more entrepreneurial kind of lifestyle. Yeah. And people believe that in media, because they see you, you look good on the gram or whatever, that oh yeah, you you're made, you've arrived, you 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 become. Become 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 I'm screaming. Sorry. But um I just genuinely believe that the, the more experience that I got, and I realized that, excuse me, I'm talking. Hello? Yeah, it's a bit rude. Um, He's leaving me on. Um, right. <laughs> to be an, a successful entrepreneur, you actually have to have some certain business skills. You need to be able to manage your money. I think, I think I have a, a slightly divergent view. I mean, entrepreneur, I've been an entrepreneur, I've been a professional. <coughs> the difference is ownership, right? Yeah. Because I didn't take ownership of that job. Hmm. It wasn't, I didn't own it. If we let these guys keep going, we'll be here all day and the monkeys might actually start asking for bananas. So, join us on the next episode of Savings or Current, where we will have more opinions for you regarding our career choices. A diligent and experienced professional or an innovative serial entrepreneur? Which one are you? See you next time. Uh.
<laughs> my only advice would be oh. is that you should just move to the mainland. What? I'm, all, I'm joking. I think you but yeah, just know where you stand and I think it was worth well, having to make money. Yeah. So work extra hard. It's fine. It's for me, sure. It's always been fine. So know what you want to do. Believe in it. I want you to do that. I remember, you know, someone was talking about getting fit and, you know, they decided they want to get personal trainer. They wanted to buy all this sports equipment. I was like, okay, what about you? Shirts and shirts you have and just Run. actually just go to the gym knowing yeah. yourself and then realizing what your long-term plans are and then going for that don't believe basically the hype that you see on yeah. social media if you're under the age of i don't know 25 or 21 and you're watching this social media can really affect your self-esteem um, so i really believe that if you focus on your long-term goals then you're going to be in a better place and you're going to be able to put things in your own save yourself yeah. save yourself